Okay, this is uh, quick instructions on how to replace a uh, alternator on a Porsche Boxster. My Boxster is a, a 2000 Porsche Boxster, uh, the regular kind. I'm using the uh, Boxster Service Manual, the uh, the Bentley Publishers Boxster, Boxster Service Manual. There it is, right here. A great tool for all the instructions. Um, you can see already that I've Prep the car by uh, lifting the convertible top. I've removed the carpet, the um, internal uh, cover over the engine. I've also removed the passenger seat. You can see that there. And then on the inside, turn the light on here. We've removed the uh, the internal firewall carpet as well as the uh, cover for the engine compartment between the firewall and the car. So right in there you can see this guy right there is the alternator. He is uh, bad. So one of the first things I did to prep the car for uh, the alternator work is to remove the battery from the, uh, from the car power. I did that by uh, just removing the uh, positive and negative uh, feeds from the from the car to the battery. And I wrapped them with a little bit of electrical tape just to prevent shorts or uh, any kind of uh, autom uh, accidental discharge. And I just hooked it up to a, a maintainer. This is a die-hard uh, battery maintainer, and it's just to keep it uh, keep the battery charged and fresh and ready to go. I didn't really know how long this particular project was going to take. Uh, I do have an Optima Red Top battery in the car. Um, and uh, so not a standard Porsche battery. Okay, one of the first things we're gonna, going to do in uh, removing the alternator is to disconnect the alternator cable from the car. And that is done via this box right here. There's some screws in there. Just take a regular screwdriver and pry this little lever up. And that's the, uh, that's the bolt that we're going to be removing to take the cable out. One of the important things also to remember is to take the belt off, obviously, I've done that already. Uh, this is the tensioner. You need a 24 millimeter wrench, like that, to get, put it right on there, turn it clockwise, and that'll loosen the tensioner, and you can remove the uh, belt pretty easily. It slips right off. Okay, the next step is to remove the alternating holder, holder bolt, which is right here. It takes a 15 millimeter uh, ratchet, and uh, we'll just remove that right now. Okay, we removed the bolt out of the alternator housing. So you see that's empty. And now what we do is unscrew the pulley bolt uh, only about three turns. That's what the Bentley manual says is uh, unloosen this bolt right here to uh, about three turns to loosen the pulley. Okay, uh, this is finally, I was able to remove the alternator. You can see here's the, um, the few plugs that come off the alternator. Essentially, what you have is this flywheel, this bolt goes right in here and connects up to the um, the rear uh, screw housing of the uh, of the alternator. It took me about four hours of work to get that bolt out of there. You're supposed to. Here's the alternator right here. You're supposed to tap on this little bushing to loosen it up and you can see I gnarled it up pretty good because I was hitting it like crazy um, but I could never get this loose this thing never moved what I eventually did was spray it with a little WD-40 and just wiggle 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 until I started to get a little bit of play and out it came so it takes a real long time the instructions tell you if this thing 
is the way it looks in in the car you're supposed to tap on this bolt to move this bushing a little bit enough to get it loose and just lift it right out well I couldn't do that it, this bushing never moved and I really hammered away on it you can see there's a lot of black and dents on this bolt because it just I just wailed on it but I never it never moved this bushing is you can see how rusted it is it never moved but a little bit of WD-40 it must have either moved a little bit or um, I was just able to wiggle it enough to uh, get it to move and I eventually uh, was able to get it out of there so stick with it and uh, keep hitting and just uh, play with it long enough to to get get this guy out of there once it's out it uh, it comes out pretty quickly so here is the uh, rebuilt alternator you can see what a nice new bushing looks like nice and shiny fresh and uh, you know no rust on it essentially we're going to connect the uh, the alternator bolts to to this um, plug or pardon me this bolt and then to this hookup right here just put those plugs back in and uh, hopefully we'll be able to slip it right back in just as easy as it came out which was not very easy we'll see how it goes so here we are the alternator is uh, is staged just laying in the uh, in the gap here and then I have the uh, the plug in the the Molex plugger is already in and you can see I'm uh, just tightening tightening the uh, the bolt around the uh, the power hookup and I, th I believe this is probably the ground wire right here and we're just gonna just uh, just sock it right in there until it's, it's till it's tight so uh, just be gentle with it and uh, get it all the way in okay that was uh, actually surprisingly easy it slipped right in there um, with a little bit of work just a little bit of wiggling and uh, now we're gonna slip the uh, the flywheel bolt in there and with the flywheel and uh, and tighten it up and then tighten the uh, locking bolt into the alternator and this is where the the flywheel bolt goes into with the flywheel that would be this guy right here goes right into there and uh, we're on to the next steps okay you can see the uh, the flywheel bolt is in it's just hand tightened just enough you can see there's plenty of wiggle room in there just enough to uh, to let to hold it in there and enough for me to, to tighten everything down I already have the um, the alternator bolt uh, started as well. We're going to tighten that down in a second. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter bolt right here, and I believe this is a 13 millimeter, but this might be a 15 as well. Let me check. Yep, that's 15 as well. So there's a 15 millimeter socket. And once these are tightened down, I need to check the torques uh, in the Bentley manual. But uh, once the uh, these guys are torqued down correctly, we will run the serpentine belt. Okay, the uh, new serpentine belt is on. I recommend you need a uh, 24 millimeter uh, offset wrench like this one. Put that guy right in there and uh, twist it clockwise and uh, that pulley arm will loosen up. Wrap it around all the necessary components all the way around and slip it right on and this guy is ready to go this is actually one of the easier projects to do is uh, is run this serpentine belt this is about a about a 30 minute job not too big not too big of a deal nice new serpentine belt okay we're gonna replace the hookup to the alternator which is right there put that guy on there and Put the, uh, I think that's a 15 millimeter bolt right on there. Tighten it down and close the latch. Where's the latch at? Right there. And uh, that part's done. Okay, so the last, the last thing you have to do before you uh, consider this project a success is to reconnect the battery, which I just did right there. I have an Optima battery, so it's going to look a little bit different than the uh, standard Porsche battery. Uh, disconnect any kind of a battery charger or maintainer that you might have had on the battery. It's important to make sure that the uh, battery is full 
before you try to start the car. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, first thing you do is test the battery, uh, just as a normal, a normal, uh, a normal test. So we'll just jam that guy in there, jam that guy in there, and you should be at about 12 and a half, 13 volts. And, uh, there we are, no problem, 12 and a half volts, looks good. And we will now start the car. Let's hope it starts. No major check engine lights. It's kind of loud in here because I haven't buttoned it up yet. But it looks normal there. Although I do have an airbag light. Let's we'll see what that is. And uh, and you can check your check your volts again. And you should be at around 14 and a half. And there we go. Alternators putting out good current, charging the battery and everybody's happy. Good luck. This is a this is a hell of a project, but uh it's doable by a novice because I am a novice.